Thank you for joining me. Lyme disease can be very complicated and many patients have it and they don't even know they have it because they may be presenting with fibromyalgia-like symptoms, Parkinsonian-like symptoms, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, chronic fatigue syndrome. In fact, we published on this in the Open Journal of Medical Microbiology where we discuss Borrelia, latent infection, and some of its complications. One of the things to remember is that not everybody's going to come in with a bullseye rash and a tick in their hand saying, oh, doctor, I have Lyme disease, run these tests. And even, in fact, if you find the doctor to run the tests, they might come back with false negatives because your immune system may not even be um, working properly enough to come back with a positive result uh, because your immune system can be depressed. So what's the key to this? The key is to look at the total symptom picture, brain fog, GI disturbances, joint pains, um, neurological symptoms, depression, anxiety, insomnia, palpitations, it goes on and on. You have twitching, numbness, all kinds of things that are going on with Lyme disease. And, and when you start having these neurological symptoms and the doctor says, well, you might have an RA, you might have lupus, you might have an autoimmune disease. Now, and GI stuff, and it's not fitting, you really start moving more and more to these infections. And so it's important that you get the proper diagnosis by really breaking down these symptoms for you. This is a very individualized thing. You cannot treat everybody the same. This is why it, this doesn't work too well in the conventional setting is because everybody's unique. They have different infections. And you'll never just have one. I mean, we've been doing this for 17 years and worked with thousands of patients. We never, or rarely, I will say, I'll never say or never, but rarely find somebody who just has Borrelia. They may have Borrelia babesia, they may have a ton of viral, HHV6, number of other infections, fungal, a proto, uh, parasite infections, all going on at the same time. So you have to really break these down. And when you do, then you'll be better able to treat chronic Lyme disease, and you'll be better able to get to the cause of it, and then build a treatment plan that kind of helps reestablish the immune system, remove the infections, and help the body get the nutrition and healing that it needs to recover. So I hope this video was helpful and this article that we have here is helpful, but you can reach out to us. We have lots more information, educational information that's available for you. If you just reach out to us, we'll send that to you. And they're in depth and they explain really in detail the treatment that is used and the method that is used to really deal with the most chronic Lyme disease cases. So thank you for joining me and may God bless you on your journey to healing.